Three years later, Pyongyang tested an improved version of its long-range Tepodong-2. Analysts believe North Korea's missile development program has several objectives. Government officials told reporters that the projectile appears to have risen 120 kilometers into the air, then separated into four pieces. The pieces then fell into the Yellow Sea west of the Korean Peninsula. Other government officials told NHK that the U.S. Army detected a heat signature around the launch pad. But analysts are still working. They have not found any evidence of a flight path. They say either the launch failed or they had trouble detecting the heat patterns. The Prime Minister, Yoshiko Noda, ordered government officials in the Security Council to continue to collect necessary information and intensify cooperation with countries concerned. The North Korean state-run television made no reference to the launch. That's during its morning broadcast. North Korean officials are expected to hold a news conference for foreign journalists later in the day at the press center in Pyongyang.